Hey, welcome to Real French Food. I'm Olivia. We are going to solve that age-old question. What do I put on the side of my dish for dinner? I know it seems always such a stressful part of planning out your meals is what are you going to put on the side of that really nice piece of chicken or what are you going to add to your dish to make it substantial? So we're going to do that with vegetables and I'm going to show you just a couple little tricks so that you can make it really easy. And I bet you've recognized this guy, right? In the plastic, it's starting to get a little bit moldy. It's been sitting in the back of your fridge. You remember this guy? I'm gonna show you how to clean this up. Let's take this plastic off finally. We're gonna cook him up. So let's make it. I'm gonna just chop it up by cutting out all the stems and then cutting deep enough so that I remove these little florets from the actual stem. And this is what you'll cook. And a lot of these brown pieces on the actual flour won't hurt you. If you feel like it's really soft in that spot, just cut it off. There's a little bit of brown. You can either even just shave it right off the top. And it's perfectly good cauliflower. So all you'll need to do is cut the rest of your cauliflower in the same way. Take a nice casserole dish, put some garlic, breadcrumbs if you feel like you want to add some breadcrumbs. If not, that's OK too. A little olive oil. Pop that in the oven, 350 degrees, no more than 10, 15, 20 minutes max until the edge is really nice and brown and you've got a really perfect side dish. Simple, easy, no problem. One of my absolute favorite dishes to make is tomate provençale and it's tomatoes from Provence. And all you really need to do are mix just a couple of ingredients, take these beautiful beefsteak tomatoes, cut off the top, and roast them. So let's make those right now. All right, so we're gonna take our serrated blade and we're going to cut the top of our tomato off. You don't wanna cut off too much because you really want as much of your tomato as possible. If you have a little bit of the center left, you can cut it out. All right, throw that out, we'll throw out our top. And then we'll do the same thing to our second tomato. So we have two, and since we're covering up the tops of our tomato, we don't have to worry about how it looks or anything like that. All right, we'll get rid of the top. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off a little bit on the bottom so that I have a nice flat tomato. I don't want it rolling around when I have it roasting in the oven. So we'll do the same thing to our second tomato. Nice and flat. And now we're gonna take care of our topping. So I have some bread that was a little bit stale that I went ahead and I toasted in the oven. So you just put it on a, a cookie sheet, just some thin slices of bread, and just let it sit in the oven 350 degrees, for maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, until it's really nice and crispy. You really want something that just comes apart. I'm gonna put this in my Cuisinart food processor, and I'm gonna just make some really awesome breadcrumbs. We'll kind of get the process started, and just break up our bread a little bit. Throw it in our mini processor. And to this, we'll add our salt and pepper blend and some fresh herbs. If you have Herbe de Provence, I would definitely recommend using that. It's sometimes hard to find depending on where you are, and it can also be pretty expensive. So using fresh herbs is a really good way to go. I've got some oregano here. I'm going to use, and let's use a lot. I love, I love oregano, especially the fresh stuff. So let's use probably about two tablespoons worth of fresh oregano. These nice big leaves here too. This is a really nice batch. And then I have some fresh thyme. Just one sprig and then you'll just take the leaves right off. You don't want the main part of the stem in there. It's gonna be too thick and it won't chop up. So we'll add our fresh thyme. Let's add a nice big basil leaf. If you have a smaller leaf, you can put in two and then we'll Add just a little bit of fresh parsley. And then we'll have a good teaspoon of our salt and pepper blend. And about a teaspoon of olive oil. We're just doing this so that it moistens all of our ingredients together when we really chop everything up nice and fine. So we'll put our lid on, make sure everything is safe, and we'll grind this up. All right, this looks like it's perfect size. Got a really nice 
breadcrumb here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this right directly on top of our tomatoes. So what we'll need is a cookie sheet lined with foil. And we don't need to put any olive oil or anything down on here. We have a lot of moisture from our tomatoes. It's going to seep through so your tomato won't actually stick to the foil. We'll take our breadcrumb and with your fingers or you can use a spoon, we'll just place it right on top. I love a nice, generous layer. It's okay if some spills off the side. A nice big old heap of our breadcrumb. We'll do that to our second tomato. And these are a really awesome side dish with really just about anything. You can put it with chicken. You can add it with some uh, nice, nice steak would be great. Some pork, really anything, fish just as equally as delicious. Really love these tomatoes. So we're good to go here. All we have to do is pop this in a 350 degree oven. A good 10 minutes, you'll see the skin. It'll start to peel apart. It'll start to get a little wrinkly. Breadcrumbs are nice and golden on the top. These are awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate. Be careful, this is pretty hot. And we'll put them right on our plate. Now, if you're feeling like you really love these, by all means, eat them, enjoy them just as they are for dinner. But take a look at the vegetables that are in the supermarket, even the ones that are in your fridge, green beans, cauliflower, use some fresh herbs, and you can make any side dish really simple. Garlic, a little salt, pepper, some olive oil, and you really have an awesome dish. So enjoy these tomates provençales and à votre santé.